Welcome back. In this video, we're going to study the concept of direct variation. And a direct variation takes the form y equals kx. Now, if that looks like a linear equation to you, that's great because that's really what it is. It's y equals mx plus b, so slope intercept form, but b is 0, so this would pass through the origin. And k is known as, in a direct variation, is known as the constant of variation or the constant of proportionality. Or it's kind of the m from y equals mx plus b. So k is the constant of variation. And x and y, well, those are simply the coordinates of an ordered pair. So we could rewrite y equals kx and isolate k, so that would be pretty straightforward, y equals kx, and if we solve for k, we would divide both sides by x, and we get k equals y over x. So that's why I've got this solve for k, we get y1 over x1. So in a direct variation, if we wanted to calculate the constant, we could divide our ordered pairs y divided by x, and that would give us our constant of variation. And of course, in any direct variation, in the same direct variation, the same issue, problem, the constant of proportionality will stay the same. There are two ways to evaluate a direct variation. We can evaluate using the equation y equals kx, or we can use a proportion, and we can use um, y1 over x1 equals y2 over x2. And since k will be equal in evaluating the same direct variation, k equals k, so of course we would have y1 over x1, so the, the fraction or the ratio of each ordered pair is going to be the same. And so that's why we can use the proportion y1 over x1 equals y2 over x2. And I'll show an example of that in just a few minutes. You'll see that's pretty straightforward. It's probably easier to apply than it is to explain. So let's take a look at this sample problem. If y varies directly with x and y is 15 when x is 45, calculate the constant of variation. So we want to calculate k. So if we know k equals y over x, we can say k equals, if y varies directly with x and y is 15, so 15 over 45, then we know k equals 1 third. And this particular proportion then follows the equation y equals 1 third x. That is our equation for this particular direct variation. So given the direct variation above, find the value of y when x is 3. So we can use our equation, right? We can solve the direct variation using the equation y equals kx. I know what k is. It's 1 third. So find y when x is 3. Well, y equals 1 third x. So then we know y is equal to 1. Very simple numbers, easy enough to do. We can also use our proportion as well to do this. We have, essentially we have some ordered pairs here. Um, we have the ordered pair 45, 15, and we want to solve for y when x is 3, so we have 3 something, okay, 3y. So we want to find out what that is. Well, we could use our proportion, y1 over x1, which is 15 over 45, equals y2 over x2, equals y over 3. Well, I can simplify 15 over 45. I know that's 1 third. In fact, that's k. It's my same k over here. So 1 third equals y over 3. 
And you can eyeball that answer. You can see y has to be equal to 1. But if we cross multiply, 3y equals 3. And sure enough, algebraically, we divide both sides by 3 and we get y equals 1. So either way that will work. While the proportion is a little bit longer, you might find in many of your problems it will be actually easier to use the two ordered pairs and solve the proportion than it might be to have to figure out what k is and then put everything back into the um, equation. Let's take a look at another sample problem. The distance d an object falls is directly proportional to the square of the time of the fall t. If an object falls 144 feet in 3 seconds, how far will the object fall in 5 seconds? So I've got some, I've got three numbers here, three coordinates of a couple of ordered pairs. I got 144 feet in 3 seconds. That looks like that would be 1x and y. And how far will the object fall? So I'm looking for another distance in 5 seconds. So I've got two times, but only one distance. I need to calculate the other distance. So one thing that's important is we need to know which is our x and which is our, our y. Well, hopefully we remember that y depends on x. Y depends on X. X is an independent variable. Y is dependent. So what depends on what here? Does the distance depend on time or does time depend on distance? Well, distance depends upon time. So now we know that in our ordered pair, Y is distance and x is time. So our ordered pair will be time distance or if you will x y. So now I can start filling this in. I've got 144 feet in 3 seconds. That's the ordered pair 3 144. And I want to know how far in 5 seconds. That's the ordered pair, 5. And we'll just call it D2. So because I have three of the four things for the ordered pair, I could calculate the constant of proportionality and then use my equation. But I think it's just as easy to use the ordered pairs. Okay, A direct variation, we want to do y over x. So y1 over x1 equals y2 over x2. So 144 over 3. The y and the x from the first ordered pair equals the y and the x from the second ordered pair. So d over 5. Well, I can simplify 144 over 3. I could just cross multiply at this point. Uh, but I can reduce this, make my numbers a little bit easier. 144 over 3 is 48 over 1 equals D over 5. So now I see that D equals, I can cross multiply, equals 48 times 5. And 48 times 5 is 240. So 240 feet in 5 seconds. So now I know the object will fall 240 feet in 5 seconds if it falls 144 feet in 3 seconds. And that finishes the introduction to direct variation and we will see you in class.